Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I made this Swiss cheese plant growing on a wall. For this tutorial I won't use mesh forces, but instead I will use a knockout force which works well for plants like this one growing on flat surfaces. So let's start. First, I created a blank scene and I imported all the materials and meshes needed for the project. Two materials are from Megaskins and are going to be used for the wall and the ground. These meshes were previously made in Blender. Next, I went to the wall material and assigned the wall mesh, and I did the same for the ground material. After that, I added a mesh generator and in the mesh tab I assigned the wall material. To add the ground mesh I duplicated this generator and assigned the ground material there. As you can see here I set the height indicator to meter. Now, to begin I added a trunk tube template. I set a value of 6.5 for the length of this tube. And then I assigned the material. After that, I decreased the absolute radius to the value you see here. Then in the generation mode I chose absolute steps and I increased the number of steps to 4. Right now all of them are overlapping in the center, to separate them I increased the last parameter to 0.25. To fill the right side of the wall I increased the number per step to 2. And to align the tubes to the wall I changed the value of the roll parameter. Next, I added some noise so they didn't look perfectly straight. You can see that there are still two tubes overlapping in the middle. To fix this I increased the first value a bit. After that, I added a branch tubes generator. I decreased their length to about 0.14. For these tubes I used the interval generation mode, you'll see why later in the video. Then I increased the count value to 8, this will add 8 tubes per step. To have more steps I increase the frequency value, but to do that, it's better to set first the boundary values. I also added some spread to give variation on the position where they start. After that, I changed the extend parent property from none to any. This will add a branch on any empty spot on the parent as you see here. Next I went to the skin tab, here I decreased the radius and also set the blue curve to max to have a constant radius along each branch. The next thing I did was to change the start angle. And I added some variants so these didn't look similar. By using the green curve on the right I made the top branches to have a lower start angle as you see here. Then I added some gravity and with the green curve I changed this value along the main trunk. Now we need to get rid of all the branches that are going through the wall. In this case I used a knockout force. With this force anything growing in the direction that the arrow is pointing will be removed. I selected the branches generator and in the forces tab I enabled this force. With the value here you can change the strength of this force. Now I'm going to add a leaf generator on top. As you can see here I already made a mesh for the leaf texture, and I also set the pivot point to the right place. Then I drag this material onto the leaf generator. In the orientation tab I change the right value to 0.5. To have all the leaves at the end of each branch you have to set the first and last value to 1. Then, in the skin tab you can change their size. To make the top leaves shorter you can use the green curve, but you need to change the parent level to the trunk tube. After that, I gave these leaves some shape by adding fold, curl and twist and I also added variants to each of these parameters.
As you can see right now all the leaves are pointing downwards. To change this I increase the out parameter. But now we need to fix the top ones. So, to do that I went to the green curve of this parameter and in parent level I changed to the trunk tube node. And here I decrease the out value for the top leaves of the plant. As you can see they seem to be aligned along the vertical axis, so, to fix that I added some variance in the rotation value. Now, here I'm showing a reference photo of this plant, you can see that it has aerial roots hanging from different parts of the trunk, I'll try to make those. To make the process quicker I duplicated the branches tube generator and pasted it onto the trunk tube generator. The first thing I did was to increase the first value. Next, I assigned the material for these roots. I also changed the start angle to a higher value and reset the green curve. Then I increased the gravity value and reset its green curve too. I made their length longer as you can see here. And I also increased the amount of late noise so they didn't look perfectly strafe. Then, I grabbed the green curve of the length parameter and made the bottom and top roots a little bit longer. Now we can just unhide the leaf meshes to see how it's looking. After having the main structure of the plant set, we can tweak all the previous parameters to our liking. For example, here I wanted to fill the bottom of the plant so I changed the first value and adjusted the distribution curve of the branches to fill this part. I also added a variance of 1 in the count parameter so we have steps with 7, 8 or 9 branches. Here I'm changing the out parameter to see if it looks better. Now, here you can see that the leaves still look too flat and that's because I didn't set a normal map for the leaf material. But what we can do is go to lighting and increase the puffiness. This will make the leaves to look more rounded by adjusting the normals. Here you can see that there are some leaves overlapping each other. For these we have different options, one is to use collision but the result doesn't work well in this case. Another thing we can do is to increase the knockout amount. This will remove random branches of the plant. And we can maybe add some variance in the length of the branches so the overlap is not too visible. After that, I wanted to add more branches at the top of the trunk so I went to the dotted line of the frequency parameter, and I decreased the end point. Now, I previously mentioned that I chose the interval generation mode for the branches and the reason is that this mode can adapt to the length of its parent. Here you can see that when I increase the length of the trunk more branches are added just like it happens in nature. But if I had used the absolute steps mode this wouldn't happen. You can see the same amount of branches are stretched along the trunk. Okay, once you are happy with the result you can start optimizing the polygon count. To do this click on each generator and in the segments tab start increasing the optimization value by small amounts. You can see the polygon count at the top left corner of the viewport. You can stop increasing this value if you start losing details in the overall shape. Then you can select your meshes and export them. In this case I chose these parameters since I'm exporting to Blender. Here you can see how the final result looks inside Blender. And that would be all, thanks for watching.